buddies. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the newest Ataris. Come here. Come here. No, nope, he's no. laying on the ground. Uh, today we have Darcy. Spectator today. I am Darcy. Yes. And we have an exclusive world debut Woo! of a new game called Ninjoso from Guillermo Xavier. And also two more games by him, Armadja and Tiro Tango. And we also have a fourth game called Kitten Catch, oh. where we'll be catching kittens. That's not possible. Rounding them up. No, it's very That's difficult. It's very impractical. Yeah. Uh, Time to change to Darcy. Yes. It's hard to suspend disbelief on the concept of that game. You <laughs> might be able to catch a kitten. But it is a mother cat catching baby cats. Oh. So they are, they're better they're at better it. They're better at it. Yeah, that's, that, that, that already solves that one problem. Um, I'm guessing... That's Gil that's Gilarm Xavier in the chat. G U I X nineteen seventy eight. Ah. Welcome to the chat. So he'll be able to answer all your questions and our questions. Hooray! About games. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers. All of them. Ooh, all, all of them. I've got the full list here. Who helped support the show? Alan the Farmscar, Coder, Atari Age, Bach Owens, Kathman Tudy, Charles and Jack, Charles Whelan, Tribe Five, Chris Albright, Dianoid, Danixy, Drexall, Doctor Moo, Cows, Great Offender, Johnny WC, One Uratic, Carl G, Kev Kelly. Croco 2600, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Soul, Mank Latow, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarner, Whoop, Mr. Fick Pack, Mr. Fix Pack, Rat, Quahog, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Relentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice, where Esther Mirrors, The Welshman, Tiki Dan, oh, not Tiki Dan, K. yep, The Welshman, Thrust 26, Tiki Dan, K, Trek MD, X Ken X. And if you want your <clears> name <throat> on the list, just hit subscribe. And if you don't want to do that, you can hit follow and you'll be alerted to this show on Twitch when we do it live. And hello to YouTube people watching it later. Ah, Who, yes. Hello, YouTube people watching it later. Inconvenient. We're time travelers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's time traveling. <laughs> With your fingers and noises. Um, I have a poll question today. Um, let me put it up right now so we can get that going. Start the poll. D-Train wants to know if... They're sub -expired. sub expired uh you're not on the list and i did it about an hour ago so unless you resubscribed within that hour yes it if did you do it expire. right now he'll say your name though that's the bonus of doing it live <laughs> poll time p-o-l-l -L, arena foot uh ah. how long have you had your handle or nickname like i read the list out and he's got drexel <laughs> that name of course he's also got a store called drexel drexel games um but I don't use my handle anymore, but I did have a handle for a very long time. It was Sumerian. Now, do you remember if I used that name when we played D&D? &D? You had Ace. Ace. I did okay. have Ace when yeah. I was doing yeah. that. Yeah. So that came later then. Yeah. You had Stamina. That was, yeah, I had D &D that. d name yeah. for and quite a while. Was, it actually wasn't very long. No? no. Oh, D Train subscribe. Thank you, D Train. 24 months. Thank you for re upping. Where's the option of don't remember? Take your best guess. <laughs> um, I'm pretty <clears throat> sure I use Sumerian on BBSs. Mm. So that would be. I used Drexel in video games before the What the Hell show. Yeah. Like, But I don't know how much. How before. much before that? Well, that was so 99, would, yeah, so that was 20 say, plus years. I wouldn't not. say it was 30. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, in fact, I'm certain it's not 30. Yeah. Because I don't think I was using it when I I was am going to say, <laughs> I'm just going to squeak it into 30 years for Sumerian, I think. Because I used it on BBSs, I think. So I'm going to put that. So when you were a teenager? Yeah. Just a teenager. Oh, hype train is close. <laughs> Thank you for resubscribing, RC7E. As long as I've subbed to the show. So, 36 months. <laughs> Arena Foot was my AOL handle email in 1998. So it wouldn't... Uh -oh. So it, no. Oh, that, Stop that. Pretty low buffer, actually. Yeah. Uh, like can you seconds. scroll back up? I want to see the thing, oh. and it's not going to be in here. Uh, so, so 1, four. 0 to 4, 2, 5 plus, 3, 10 plus... 420 plus, 530 plus, 640 plus. Uh, I'd be like, do you know where nicknames came from? Like the first use? Because I think like people would have them for 
wartime for sure. But I mean, nicknames have been around for a while. A long Ever. time. Forever. 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 Really. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there goes Stinky. Like, the first time <laughs> the first time anybody had a name, they yeah. th- like that day, uh, someone else called them something else for short. <laughs> yes. That's true. <laughs> um, but I guess this would be more for online things. Uh, more specifically, but but your online name could carry back even further to offline things. Yeah. Uh, arena foot I was my AOL handle email in 1998 so it would so it wouldn't take arena football AOL only allowed nine digits so 24 years that's pretty long uh, D train 30 plus jeez metal lunar I knew you had Sumerian long before I knew your real name yeah not sure if I should say 40 plus or I don't use one I do just not here so yeah Carl G is Carl Garrison it's real name James the Sumerian I'm sure yes. I said before that uh, Carl G is like at a certain point mm-hmm. it was the largest uh man fired wrap around uh no, anti tank no, you've weapon. never said that no. <laughs> that's a nickname for it it's the carl g yeah it's really called, yeah. i wonder if he knows that <laughs> uh googling sort like a games. bazooka basically oh wow yeah. that's interesting that it's so it's like, like a 90 it matches millimeter completely up with his name yeah. his real name yeah story behind it's my... the carl gustav Oh, yeah. okay. Carl G goes, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. Now you know something you didn't know before. <clears throat> Dan ABC started behind my nickname. Is that on the Jaguar forum? People got me and another Dan mixed up asking me about Ma- uh, MGC or Goat Store? Goat Store. Okay. So I used Dan, my name, and ABC. Target Video Club, which is my club. I started back in the 80s. Well, I, I don't know. If people are starting to get you mixed up with uh, a weapon, then maybe. <laughs> um, no, now you double down on your cool uh, nickname. Super cool nickname. My <laughs> rap tag. The D train. Uh, I have some mail. It's all the way from Belgium. And it says unsolicited gift. Which I don't think it is. I don't think this is an unsolicited gift. gift but I think it's something I actually ordered. Because it's a game. But it could be an unsolicited gift. That would be very nice. I don't think it is, though. I think I know what it is. Let's see if I am correct. There's two packages sent independently, but arrived at the exact same time. Which is... You'd think that they would... Um, but this is probably the only size they have. It's like, well, why would you buy a double size just... You just tape them together. Oh, true. No, I did order this. It is... Vector Patrol is a Vectrex game, Moon Patrol, but with vectors. Uh, it looked really, really awesome, so I thought, oh, I'm going to get that, because we are going to do a Vectrex day oh, eventually. Yeah, there's no... No, it's uh, not uh, focus because it would... Here, I'll I put use... it real close. <laughs> Can you see the... Oh, Just the graphics cross your are eyes. so sharp. Just cross your eyes and... <laughs> oh, yeah, what I, su- I do is put in the cat cam. Ah, yes. Because that works really well because it does have. No, no focus. Kitten cam. There we go. It could be oh. uh, look at the holes in Darcy's socks. <laughs> cam. Yeah. There we go. Vector Patrol. And I think in the back. <laughs> oh, that's all down. I'm not going to take it out right now. We'll look at it when we do the show. In the back, there's two overlays, actually. Uh, there's a green one up there, and a red and blue one. So I'm looking forward to playing that, because I, I swear love these holes weren't in my socks when I put them on. <laughs> oh, uh, no, no. Th- th- yeah, those, like those both look... heels, and one of the toes, I noticed there was a, a hole in it when I put the socks on, and I was like, oh, crap. The... And now there's one on both sides, and both heels are gone. Well, at least they're evenly worn. Uh, th- it looks on purpose. It's, like, it's symmetrical, yes. Yeah, like... The heels <laughs> look on purpose. Yeah. Because they're so symmetrical. Yeah. So this is from the same person in the same packaging, um, and I'm guessing it's the same, not the same game, but it's also a Vectrex game, and I don't remember which one I ordered, so we will see which one it is. Oh, come on. Oh, I need to go. Okay. It is Vex- uh-huh. Vectrexians instead of Galaxians. There we go. And we'll hold it up to the camera. There we go. 
Nice. And let's open it. Oh, the back. Show the back again and put it down a bit so we can see the whole thing. Yeah, I think it's just one overlay. Is there two there or one? Can you see? Mm, Looks yeah. like one. Yeah, I mean, it kind of looks oh, like I two, see. but I think that's the graphics on the back. You want to open it up? And got the cartridge and the manual. So looking forward to playing that on and the Vectrex. A piece show. of cardboard. Oh, bonus cardboard. Mm -hmm. That's always nice when you get bonus cardboard. And I got bonus cardboard with the other one. Oh, too. Oh, oh, look at you. I didn't even order the cardboard. <clears throat> and look at the bonuses you get. Um, happy birthday, Neo Media, nineteen seventy-four. Yes, happy birthday. Um, and I, I, your your birthday year checks out. <laughs> it's right on time. Samara turned forty-seven. No, forty-eight yesterday. Uh, yes, she did. That's right. Happy yeah. birthday, Tamara. Yeah, she's not watching. <laughs> and you don't know. And you don't, you know, don't know who know she is. <laughs> Wife of Darcy. Yes. Um. Um, and I, I am, how old am I? Around that age. <laughs> As well, we're all around that age. And so are all of you, because I see the, the, the charts on YouTube, because if people put in their, oh, he likes these. Here, I'll play with it over here. There. Play with it in the cat cam. There you go. Because <laughs> um, I get the, the age charts on YouTube, if people put in their age. And I think I've said this before. It goes like... 0 to 18, 20 to whatever, 25, blah, 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 blah. They're all empty, except for 45 to 55, which is like 100%. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Or it's like 35 to something. It's it's very, very specific. Yeah. Newly turned 53. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, everyone. <laughs> Yay. If this is your birthday year, happy birthday. If you birthday. had a birthday this year, happy birthday <laughs> to you. And if you haven't had one yet this year, happy preemptive upcoming birthday. happy birthday to yes, you. Yes, that's right. We could do that on, on New Year's <laughs> Eve. If you had a birthday this year, happy birthday. Um, update on Atari Age release date. Somebody in the... Uh, uh, the Atari Age forums asked me, was there not a major homebrew update planned in the Atari Age store October, November? And this is in uh, the thread for uh, releases for the 2600 because I keep a full list of all the releases um, and add them when I run across them. And um, I said, this is the latest information I have that I've been keeping track of. Is that yummy? <laughs> um and I posted this list, Game of the Bear. Oh, this is pretty, <laughs> pretty tiny. There's there no tag. Oh, there is a tag. Yes. It's Someone tiny. asked what this is. Oh, it's a soot sprite. Oh, the, it's a soot sprite. The from English the name bed. from uh, Totoro, my neighbor, neighbor Totoro. Yeah. This was purchased in Japan at the Ghibli store. Um, super awesome uh, place to go, the Ghibli Museum. It's like stepping into the world of Ghibli. It's amazing. Uh, Game of the Bear, Robot War 2684, Unawars, blah, 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 blah. You can see that list there. Um, and then Albert promptly steps in and corrects me. Um, I plan on adding a large <laughs> slate of new 2600, 5200, 7800, and Jaguar games to the store in the week between Christmas and New Year's. Um, so that will be coming up in two weeks. So there's going to be a bunch of... Um, games coming out a whole chunk of games uh james's list is correct on some of the titles but not on others <laughs> and is very incomplete <laughs> very incomplete of course he didn't say which one failure ones. <laughs> so this list is some... he's smiling but he's he really has he really did die inside a little bit when he saw that he's like oh Oh, it's wrong. <laughs> I'm just going off public information that I've seen posted. So if that, that list is wrong, the people, the developers that posted it were wrong now. Maybe not at the time. Yeah, developers. Oh, developers. <laughs> um, I will start shoveling out more information next week. So they're coming soon. Some of these, but not all of them, and more than I have here. <laughs> That's as much as, uh, much as I can say. I don't know. You didn't even give me a percentage. Maybe 75% right? I don't know. Um, he may have interpreted these last three as 
these are coming out soon, but I did put 2022, 2022, and soon. Um, so there you go. There's the update. I plan on buying a bunch of these games. Me too. Oh my God. Like all, all of them are amazing. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, there's some really, really good ones there. So save up your money. Uh, so we are going to dive into the first game which is an exclusive world debut. It is Ninjoso. Uh, exclusive world premiere. It's the, for the Atari 2600, put out by Dawnsoft Entertainment uh, slash Gil Guilherme Xavier, known on the Atari Age forums as X-ZAVR. Uh, and known in the chat as GUIX1978, I'm guessing. Oh, there we go. Arena Foot's ahead of me. Because uh, that's the page I'm going to flip to next. This is their web page um, at the thing Arena Foot posted. Uh, Donsoft.com. Yep. Don, Don, Donsoft.com. Brazil. Um, and the English translation of that is from Portuguese 8 bits, and look at that. DMGD, Donsoft Mini Game Division, is a space for free trials of small games usually made to illustrate concepts and propose extraordinary integration between the different actors of the P&A, Production and Administration, A&D, Arts and Design, and T&D, Technology and Development Areas. The games created and developed can be freely downloaded and distributed by collectors, and it is suggested to send as a gift to any short-lived game enthusiasts. <laughs> short-lived. The samples available here are excellent for those minutes between boiling the noodles and passing the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, Atari VCS and Atari 2600 are blah, 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 registered trademarks. Um, so, oh, and, uh, Guilherme is saying that, uh, Ninjosa will be posted shortly after the show. So he messaged me on November 19th, telling me about his new game, uh, Tiro Tango, which will also be playing and let me know about his upcoming g game, Ninjoso. I asked him if he'd like it featured as an exclusive on the show, and here we are today featuring it. Um, he's been quite prolific over the past couple of years, putting out nine Atari 2600 games, including Armadja, uh, Sisney, Kororama, Epicotera, Labamento, Ninjoso, Tirotango, TTTX, and Z1B, of which we've played some of it, some of them in the past. I remember we're, we played Z1B. Um, and he's also got a club on the Atari Age forums. Um, it's called the DMGD Clubs, where you can read more about his games that he's posted. Um, and uh, you can download them from there or download them from the website here as well. And all of his games that you download come in a zip file with the cover art some extra art, the game, uh, instructions. So it's a fully fledged pack all together as well. Um, sorry, just jumping in. How much have I missed? Not, not a ton. Um, you missed the poll. Uh, if you want to look at it there, there's the poll. Um, how long have you been using Ivory Tower collections? Um, or whatever, whatever nickname you want. Crossbow? Probably crossbow. That'd be a more appropriate one. Um, so let's um, jump into the game, um, which is uh, Ninjoso. Uh, this build is from November 29th, 2021. Uh, it is a 4 4K game, and uh, it is a ninja game. I've got the instructions here. And we'll put Darcy on the controls. Have you sufficiently destroyed that? Yes, you have. Completely destroyed. Yeah, you missed the beginning. His first bite was this. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> like a piece of cardboard got stuck on one of his oh fangs. And he was like, <laughs> I'm going to have to look, at, look back at that. I totally missed that. <laughs> he got it off pretty quick, but it was a moment of, of uh, uh, public freakout. <laughs> so, yep. Jump into that. Press the button. Ninjoso. Press the button. And first one? Yep. And do that. And here it is, then oh. Joso in huge font. Huge font. I'm gonna press the button. Uh, go for it. 
Oh, you're actually playing. Okay, so fumble around for a bit, <laughs> and I will read the instructions on the controls before we get into the story, so you know how to play a bit. So, um... Ninjoso Sensei said could move sideways, left and right, crouch like a tiger, jump like a rabbit in the same directions you move your joystick. Uh, to slash the enemy, one must press the controller button when the time is right. To send the enemy a sharp shuriken, one must jump and press the controller button with good aim. To dodge the enemy, one must go up. To dodge the kunai, one must go down. So he is um, running at you. He is also throwing things. Uh, has he thrown something at you yet? Yep. Okay. Oh, there it is. You did not dodge it. And you've got a health bar at the bottom. Crouch like a tiger, but can you hide like a dragon? No, I don't think there's any hiding in this game. So check out the uh, score font. It's pretty good. Uh, Darcy has still has zero. He hasn't successfully hit him. There we go. 20 points! Game over. I got 20 points! <laughs> <laughs> minimum possible non-zero points. That's right. It was my goal. Game over. Okay. Retro retroactive stated goal. <laughs> so console controls. Game select switch. Thanks, Arena Foot. <laughs> 20D. <laughs> that was unfair. It was. He didn't know how to play yet. It's fine. It's pretty much what would happen if I didn't know how to play. <laughs> I was I was doing all the things that uh, you said I was supposed to do. I just did True. them poorly. <laughs> uh, game reset switch to restart the game each time the game reset is... Oh, this is not... Can you press not, a button? This is not couch com not compliant. Not couch compliant. Not couch compliant. You just... You won't be able to get that stamp of approval. <laughs> uh, uh, each time game reset is pressed, the game starts over, and the current player's golden coins are lost. So those are actually golden coins. Difficulty switches does nothing. Type type switch changed the ninjoso's kimono from black to white. Oh. You're gonna have a white kimono this time. Oh, that makes you stand out, actually. Oh, that makes that's actually quite handy. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's read about the game. Uh, Sinjiro Kisayaba no Den Setsu. With a slight smile, the village elder asked the historian. Ha ha! Twenty points. Asked the historian. So the honorable oh. visitor wants to know about the legend of Sinjiro Kisayaba, uh, the one who was in the mountains, was once called Ninjoso. Then listen, listen carefully. While the sun was painting the sky with fire in front of the tori, Ninjoso awaited his fate. After training with perseverance to face ah. the enemy ninja of the no. Domu no, no. Rokai clan, <laughs> a spring earlier, led by the mysterious Tanakara, shadow warriors have invaded his fishing village, massacred his entire family. Wielding the famous sword Tite Titemo Surudoi, full of shuriken, Ninjoso leapt and braved his opponent, oh. who attacked him from all sides. And what oh. happened next, Sensei? Uh, he threw points. the... He threw the star, and then it went the other way. <laughs> That's uh, what happens. Art, replied the old man, savoring his memories of the clash between katanas and kunai throwing during the confrontation. The purest of arts. Oh, needs more backflips. Oh, that would be cool. Uh, gameplay. From what I've learned from the interview with the sensei, Ninjosa was the last of a lineage of retired shinobi, seeking revenge for their assassination. Oh. To accomplish this objective, he faced relentless enemy say, ninja of the Demokura. I can say for sure I do not throw my uh, stars with skill. You are improving. <laughs> you are improving. I, Did you get all that from slashes? Three times as good as before. No, There's, all of those were from stars. Sword. I don't know stars. how to slash properly. Uh, try to use the sword, pressing the button in the right time. I think you have to do it when he's like right on you or very, very close to you. There you go. So you have to press the button? Yeah, just the button. Oh, okay. Um, you can also spam the button. Spam it! Spam that button! There you go. Um, spam to, the button to accomplish this objective, he faced the resent relentless enemy ninja of the Domur Rokai clan with accurate attacks from his famous katana and shuriken throws. 
His opponents came from above and both sides, using concealed awakizashis and kanais thrown at a distance by the elite warriors of the Tanakara. For each defeated enemy, Ninjosa won gold coins. Ooh, see? Kicking ass now, 100. The art would end when Ninjoso died, but we know that's not how it happened. Note, Ninjoso must have amazing reflexes, not? Maybe then his training wasn't enough. Oh, 120 now. Amazing reflexes. I would agree, you must have amazing reflexes. <laughs> he can always retry. Okay. My turn. Uh, okay. Um, Apparently, if you, you just use fire and not direction. Oh. So you have to point in the direction you want and hit the button, right, maybe? You're hitting direction fire, which is causing the ninja not to use his sword. Well, let's try it out. So if you can start with scoring. Scoring. Since they said that for every ninja defeated, Ninjoso gained 120 yen gold coin. Besides, for every elite warrior eliminated, Ninjoso gained 520 yen coin. <laughs> and part of his key were recovered. Yeah, direct, the... direction and the button does nothing. Ah. It just kind of pauses you in mid-stride. In mid, uh, As the enemy senshi were brought down by the Totemo Shiru... Shirujoi. He has a lot of words there. A lot of Japanese <laughs> words. Shirujoi blows and shrinking impacts. Ninja from Allied Flags with the... Uh, Doom, Doom, Doomurokai began to appear. Their kimonos were different, but their rewards were the same. Penalty. I found that if Ninjoso was hit by the sharp Wakasashi or by the sharp Kanai, he would lose some of his ki. What would happen if all the Ninjoso's ki was lost during the final showdown? I think he would succumb. Before Ninja, Ninjoso was Sujiro Kisabe, Kisabe. Kisaiba, a human being. A human being with a thirst for revenge. Revenge! Yet human and therefore fallible. Or not. Sensei will know how to answer. Sensei! Ah. 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 Ow! The background's really nice. The uh, sunset with the... Um, <laughs> I can't remember what they're called now. We saw a lot of them when we were in Japan. Um, the arches. We saw a bunch in water. They were really nice. 520! <laughs> hate you. Arr, arr. <laughs> All you have to do is jump over them. Yeah, I, I can never hit them with the... Uh, or I rarely hit successfully with the... Because uh, when you move, so does the shuriken. Yes, it kind and of that follows was screwing me up because I'd distance. be like... I'd be chickening out and running away, and then it wouldn't get hit because it would turn the other way with me. <laughs> well, I'm actually using that to my advantage. When you jump over them, you can direct the shots. Yeah. But you have to be good with the controller, which I'm not <laughs> sure if you realize. Uh, I am not. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Helpful hints. They can block them. Sometimes they block them. Bounces off them. Helpful hints. Guess the following knowledge can help to understand the art, honorable one. Up, down, be fast. As the master once said, you cannot hit what is not there. <laughs> That's true. So, Don't waste so blow. As the master once said, the time is right, the right time. Move. As the master once said, be the water, not the stone. Be the bee. Bee. <laughs> bee. <laughs> Watch for patterns. As the master once said, what is, is what it was. <laughs> Watch your aim. As the master once said, is sharp and travels, cuts afar. Fight with honor, as the master once said. Killing is wrong, but dying is worse. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. GG. Good game. Yeah. <clears throat> is that a nine? Oh, kitty. Oh. She can't be up there. Cat distracted me. You're going to get in trouble. Don't want cat hair in my amplifier. It amplifies the cat hair. Yeah, you'd be like, yeah, listen to cat you, hair. Like, all you day. don't need more cat hair. Like, you have the right amount of cat hair. Yes, exact right <laughs> you amount. You don't need to amplify it. So I like the I like the controls. 
I like the um, the look of the uh, characters. Ah, came out of nowhere. Just like stab. I don't think it uh, gets any harder though. Doesn't seem to have levels. I'm correct. It's hard enough. It's hard enough. <laughs> ow! Ow! Oh ah. my god, he just spam attacked me. Yeah. He heard what you said. Yeah. He was tactics. like, oh, you want harder. <laughs> Here <laughs> we go. If you kill five of them in a row, yeah. you get some key back. Oh, really? Yeah. What does in a row mean? Oh my god, okay. I don't know if it's in a row. Let's see. 1,100. Uh, so... Besides every elite warrior eliminated, oh no! If it's an elite warrior, oh, is there a difference between the? Yeah, there's elite warriors. I didn't notice any difference. Yeah. What are the elite warriors? When the game is over, just press the button for some seconds. Oh. Oh. oh okay. Nice. Couch compatible. <laughs> Compliant. You, you get it back. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's that's interesting. I've never seen somebody use that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that is really good. Because it prevents accidental. Yeah. Because yeah. you're pressing the button all the time. Yeah, yeah. So having it held down is actually really good. Yeah. Because the other tactic that you can use is don't let them don't let the button affect anything for X seconds and then let you press the button. Um But this is unusual why I didn't didn't know. That's good. Oh, Space Peril does that. Oh, very nice. I love homebrew games, Neo Media says. So do we. We do too. Couch Compliant Plus. Um, <laughs> you'd get a gold standard couch compliance if we could change the color of the kimono from black to white from, say, this screen with the joystick. But as it sits... Would you, is it okay if you have to hadouk in it? Uh, yeah, as long as you can yeah. do it. As long as you can... <laughs> if you hadouk in it, you can, you can get that. It's difficulty increases as you reach a certain score to defeat number of enemies. It didn't seem to get harder. Um, I was just kind of playing around. and At least it doesn't get appreciably harder. But you don't get any... Uh, I didn't notice, like, different warriors. Like, did they have a different uh, look to them? Yeah, I... It might be the ones that shoot at you oh. are elite, or... It did look a little different. Look, look at them. But those don't stand still, so that might just be, like, how they look when they stand still. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Um... I bet it's them. Yeah, I because bet. Because they're the hard ones to... They're hard to hit because you're busy dodging their dumb arrow thing. And they just appear out oh, of nowhere. Oh, that is them. Oh. Because I can see the key going up. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. okay. That's helpful. That's yeah. really helpful, actually. Um, if I would add anything to the game, I would have it in stages where the background change color, like after X enemies or certain number of score, the colors in the background changed, and the enemies became faster or shot more or turned around more often to come back at you um, because it doesn't seem to be to get it be getting harder but the basics that are here are really good like the controls are very good mm -hmm. and i like the different weapons um yeah. i don't find myself using this very much because it's a little dangerous but it's actually quite quite effective at blocking, and I haven't gotten... Well, let me do it properly. I haven't gotten hurt. Once you do that, and you uh, spam it, I don't think you can get hurt easily. Oh! And I, <laughs> and I did get hurt there. And maybe another, like, weapon when you crouch uh, when would you, be cool. When you kill that guy, you also get... Uh, instead of getting 20... You get a hundred oh. because um, you get five instead of one. <laughs> right. Coin and the coins are worth twenty. Mm. Okay. Let me try and kill another one of those guys. 
And they are harder to get because... Uh, he says Man, after a lot of yen coins, the enemy ninja colors change. Oh, that's what it says. A lot more than is that. Um, where is it? Uh, the kimonos were different, but their rewards were the same. Okay. What I wonder is it number or is it score that you have to get? Uh, he said coins, so okay. that would be score. Score. Well, I got to a thousand, just over a thousand, and I don't think they changed, did they? It'd have to be quite a bit more. Well, I'm at 820 now, so 840. So I'll keep going and see. Oh, I should have killed that guy. Oh. I don't know if it's easier with the throwing star. Ugh. I'm playing around here. Um, well, the throwing star is required to kill the elite ones. True. I should just go for them because they get huge points. Oh, look at that. Three in a row. Four in a row. I'm not going to move. I'm going to keep doing it. Nope. Down. <laughs> <laughs> they tricked me. Maybe it's at 2,000? Let's see. It's kind of fun doing that. I like the animation with that. The the slashing. It looks like a, um, a blur. Like a, a film blur of a sword attack swooping down. Fancy move I just did. I reversed my. Yeah, I, I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. it was super fancy. Super fancy. Got him. Ah. At least the duck is like really, really fast. So if uh, the thing he's throwing at you is like right behind you as it was there, I was able to duck. Ah! you're too close to them. They seem to appear at the exact same spot every time. Uh, yeah. On either side, like but right between the two poles. Oh, what am I doing? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Not even you. No, apparently not. Because I didn't do that on purpose. Oh! Uh, right in the face! I gotta stay in the middle. Ah! Yeah. Got it. We're almost at 2,000. I wonder if I just do this. I kind of go to the side. Stay near the middle. Meow. Meow. And slash. Ow! Oh, he got me twice. Well, am I protected from above? With that? As well? No. Oh, I think I am. Oh. Oh, I am. Uh oh. Nope. No? That got me a bit. He slid the other way and stabbed you in your stupid kidneys. Oh, it's 2,000. I haven't, got, you again. I haven't got the points yet. I nope. haven't got the change color. Mm. Takes more points than you would hope. Yeah. This clan has many ninjas. <laughs> and you have not broken them yet. Not yet. Ah! Maybe it's a 2,500? Has he given <laughs> up his secrets yet? <laughs> In the chat? <laughs> Carl G uh, thinks it's a hundred thousand, <laughs> but he's feeling a little big in the head after he found out he's a rocket launcher. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. A bazooka, I should say. It's not a rocket launcher, but you know what, I'm what is the difference? One shoots rockets, and one bazooks. Because <laughs> one a rocket launcher is like I'm yeah, it remember, shoots a big thing. So it's thing. like it does. It it's like it's a technicality. The, it's a it's a recoilless rifle, but it's not oh. a rocket. It's like a wrap round. So I think what it is is that I think what it is yeah. is that a rocket would have propellant in it and it's like accelerating as it goes. And I think a wrap round is it expels its a propellant like a rifle would, mm -hmm. except and in the barrel. And sends the projectile flying. I think that's okay. what the difference is. And but uh, it does have a backblast, and it's considered a, a, a kill zone. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you could fire, you could you look, know look fire it sideways and have th that side get the backblast and that side get the look at this. Um, the round. I'm gonna when a guy runs at me, I'm gonna be opposite of him, and you don't even have to face him. That's a problem. Um, you don't have to face him? No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> you don't get hurt. 
Uh, I would suggest putting in a check to see if the enemy is to the to the opposite way you're fight facing um, to a give more difficulty because that seems a bit unfair that you can just spam the button no matter which way you're facing even if they're dropping in from above too S sometimes they do get you but I haven't gotten hurt from one coming at me the opposite direction that one took a bit of a chunk you, so, you get hurt because your timing is off not because of the direction yeah, I get your yes yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm at 3,700. We're going to go to 4,000. And uh, if it doesn't change color, we're going to give up. Yes. Give me more of those guys. Or should we go to 5,000? We'll go to 5,000. That's a nice round number because we're almost at 4,000. And... No. Nope. 5,000. It's clan endless. Clan endless. Endless clan. So if I get a lot of they're these like, guys, no, we're we, you've gone through several clans. It's just that black is a popular uh, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> outfit a, color. It's various shades of I black. I mean, you're, we're ninjas. Hello. <laughs> we're not gonna wear, wear bright pink. We're not wearing black, but I'm wearing super super dark purple and super dark <laughs> pink and super dark red and super dark whatever. Very dark. <laughs> very dark blue. Dark. It's really subtle. Very very dark white. <laughs> <laughs> very dark white. <laughs> Four 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 zero, almost there. Yes, give me more of those guys. <laughs> Missing there. There we go. There you are. Oh, it's kind of fun doing that. Yeah, it's and aiming. It's a good time. Jumping around moment. them. Oh, that oh, went right through his head. Come on. No, it went through the top of his uh, fabric ah. uh, thinger. They're playing tag football and you're playing uh, oh, sharp, what? Knife, sharp knife football. <laughs> that was weird. It seemed like you... It went right through his space. Oh, and through his belt. Yeah, through it his belt. It bounced off his belt. Note that. You have to avoid the belt if you want to kill them. There was another game, I think it was Prince of Persia, that you could line up exactly and not get hurt because they stabbed you right through the belt and there's nothing there. I think it was that game. Well, there's... Uh, um, Almost there. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Yeah. And if you have the frying pan <laughs> and the frying pan gets hit... Yeah. It's like perfect armor. It bounces off. Oh, nice. Well, we're at 5,000. Or at least that's what it was at some point. And so you would just, just by wearing it, you kind of have like an armored ping, spot that ping, if it ping. happens to hit there, it protects you. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that's how it used to be. That's the downside of hardware collision. Yes, that's true. Or upside. Hmm. You just need true. to write in the, just add to the rules. <laughs> He has an indestructible in belt. Indestructible <laughs> belt. And and if it goes like th right through those spaces in it for his eyes, whew, indestructible like headband or Eyeball something. Thing. I don't know. Yeah. And dead. Game over. 5,000. New high score. <laughs> new world record. We're the only ones to have played this. <laughs> so what's the magic number? Yeah. <laughs> That's up to you to find. <laughs> Maybe it's 10,000. Maybe it is 100,000. <laughs> you only have to kill 10,000 of the tough guys. The, the color is a lie. <laughs> the color is a lie. Oh, that's true. They just promise it, but it never happens. Okay. So how did our poll go? Oh my God. People have had their nickname for the most uh, 20 years. 27%. And then the next one down is 10 plus years at 22.2%. And then tied is for 30 and 40 years, 16%. So people have had their nicknames a long time. 
And then 0 to 4, 11%. And then... Uh, it wouldn't be crazy for me to have had a, like, a pseudonym or whatever you want to call it yeah. for over 30 years because... Once you use it. Like, but it's just that right. games in... Games when I was a teenager yeah. didn't yet have... They didn't... They, it was only starting to be entered the name of your character. Yeah, because arcades had like three letters. And if it was a fancy yeah, one, would you have could that. have longer. Yeah. But but then it, it was like, they, it started to be enter the name of your captain or whatever. Character. Like um, Yeah, Ultima or whatever. Like Ultima would have, Ultima is one of the earliest ones that I can think of that had yes. that. Games like that. And Adventure you would, games. You and, would put in stamina for that. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and yeah, it's just. It, like it could have existed but i just didn't have that same name yet yeah. yeah so we're going to go on to the second game by guillerme thank you so much actually for letting us uh, debut your ninja game it is i love the controls the jumping controls are super fun yeah yeah um and this one is oh, he says it's something near 100k <laughs> okay i guess that's just a bonus for like toughen it out yeah uh next Three one's called patch. armadja what i discovered a new clan achievement <laughs> Ding. Ding. <laughs> um so this one is a 4k game as well this build is from november 16th you can download this one from the developer's site um that's when we played so if you next kill one. a thousand of the thousand elite tens. ones Yep. Then you... That's a lot. That's a lot of them. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of them. Um, Armadja, all stations report when manned and ready. Armadja, ahoy! Two squadrons meet on the high seas for a decisive battle at stake. A precious sea route with islands to occupy. The year is 1955 and the military escalation between the two countries could change history forever. Yeah, load it up. Armada... Uh, Ninja. Captain, it is your duty to intercept the enemy ships at any cost. Rudders and artillery are on standby. Give orders for strategic maneuvers, for radar firing alignment, and make sure the volleys hit them directly Better on the decks. Train. Bye, D-Train! <clears throat> um, so let me tell you how to use the controller. No! Uh, the panel information colors That's at the bottom fire. of the screen indicate the player's turn. So you're blue. Uh, blue or reds. If after an action is made, the turn is yeah. over and the other player carries on. Uh, Rudd is ready. To, remove or, to maneuver his squadron in his turn, the captain must choose order N with the controller level set to up and press the confirmation button. There you go. Press it. Nope. Up and then the button. There you go. Um, Just tell me what to do. Uh, Don't uh, tell me what to do. You're not the boss of me. Nope. <laughs> at the green signal the captain must indicate the fleet's destiny position to cancel the order the control lever must be lowered and another order could be set so uh -oh. did that oh i moved i moved down okay that's what happened is it over it's over i went in the wrong spot and now i'm dead or is it two players oh it's two players oh so you're just doing orders and canceling them over oh, okay so n and I move left. <laughs> oh. Into the sky with you. Oh, it's up and down. Okay. So, uh, radars. To define fire and engine speed, the best to best assault the enemy fleet, the captain must choose the order R with the controller set to left. So there's R. Press the confirmation button. Oh. So what does this do? Uh, radar. Ah. Uh, if the confirmation button is retained, the system will overload, and after some time, an arbitrary range value will be registered in the primary control for later use. If used handsomely, after setting the desired range, the next fire order and navigation order will consider that value. So you can see R2, R4, 2, or 2, 3, 4. Oh, it's fast. Oh, it's very fast. <laughs> So, I'm not quite sure. To agree with the value, move the lever to down to cancel the order. Okay, to define and to define fire and engine speed. Uh, I guess that's the distance you travel and the distance you fire. S but if you leave it too long... So, this is radar. See, I'm on four. Mm -hmm. and maybe I go when I go to one. 
Okay, I'll set it to one. So we'll see how that works. I'm getting in television-esque vibes from this one. Yes, that's true. Uh, battle stations. To fire... Your turn. The captain must use order F set to right. The value registered in the primary at the bottom control will define the angle of attack of the salvo parallax match. So I'll press a button. So it just, it takes one. Okay, so that's the angle of one. And you're at three. So that's very sharp. You almost got me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to change it to two. And then it's your turn. You can only change the angle on your turn. Oh, now you've moved it. <laughs> I'm going to try fire anyway. See what it does. Ooh, oh, a little too high. Okay. Um, after firing, the missile will noisily ascend and fall down accordingly. I'm going to turn it up on our side. We can't really hear it right now. It's your turn. Are you going to kill me? I, I want to. I want to kill you badly. I'm going to move. You deserve to die. Where did you move? <laughs> I don't know. No, you, you can't move when I'm not looking. <laughs> well, there I am. I'm like right there. I hate you. <laughs> Fine. Very strategic. Yes, it fire. is. I'm just going to fire blindly. Oh, 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 no. Oh, too high. I'm going to keep my angle. Oh, too high as well. I, think I need to go down to one. Yeah, it's very fast. There we go. And then down to confirm. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I would suggest changing that. Just slow that down a bit. That's a little crazy. So you're at two. Mm. No! Ooh! <laughs> we have ranged in, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, so now <laughs> I need to move. That's it. Uh, no, no. It's next game. <laughs> <laughs> um, scoring if two missiles hit an armada its navy will lose a move? battleship not yet without battleships the armada is defeated um, so I'm guessing we have three because it's kind of showing three so I'm going to move because you have honed in on me <laughs> No. Mm. I assume that I will miss. Ooh, that was close. Um, this might be good enough. Oh, did I... I think I got you? I don't think you did, because I think... I think you have to be perfect. Mm, okay. That's the hard decision after being hit. Stay or move? Yeah. Well, not stay. The only reason you would stay is if you have it lined up and they're a, and you're ahead of them in hits. Because then it's just a war of attrition at that point. It's very hard to know the angles. I see the NRF triangle and I can't help but thinking of Nerf. <laughs> it's very sensitive. <laughs> like it goes up into the sky. Oh, damn it. And you can't see, and then it just comes down. Oh, way too angry. I went the wrong way. So if that's to I want no I'm at one and it missed from below so try two I don't know did you just change your range why are you changing it again where did you fire last time Oh my god. So I'm not even... It's not possible to hit you from where I am right now. I don't think. Mm. 
Did I move into the line of fire? No. Just not gonna move there. Oh, I'm not certain about this angle. Way too high. So if I put it at three, it's even more up. So if I go to one, it should be better. Should be more down. Let's see. It's your turn. Should be right. Boom! Yes! So one of yours didn't disappear yet. So the other one did miss. I wonder if you can hit from there. No, you can't. Too close. But I can. <laughs> now one should disappear now, right? Yep. There we go. Now it did make it a big explosion. Okay. So there. Reposition is required, captains. Where are you moving to? I don't think that's enough. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Nope, Ooh. Not enough. This is this is really good. Because it's um, very hard to figure out the angles. Uh well I had you locked in. And ah. all it took was for you to move once. It, it's it yeah. Ah <laughs> If you do it too much, it 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 stops and gives you a random number. I don't even know where I'm firing right now. Was that on purpose to make it challenging? Ooh. Ugh. Two. There we go. <laughs> Maybe he did that on purpose to make it hard to do the position correctly. Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> remember if this was a good angle or not. Nope. Too high. But one is too low. One's not going to work. Now it might. Oh, right away. Yes, that was on purpose. Okay. Okay. Whoa! One pixel off. I don't know if I'll be able to get this. So the battleships must nav around. No, we're in the same position. Yeah, but now you've just screwed yourself because now you're in the that's, line of fire. That's, but that's... Uh, I'm not sure... I haven't figured out how to avoid that particular problem yet. I think you have to move to a position where... It... Ground Trooper, thank you for resubscribing! You would have to move to a position where your angle is a different angle than mine. Right, but, because, but once you figure... One, if, you, if you can figure it out... Yeah. Then once you know how to do it, there is no way. Yeah. It's just like whoever get fires first wins. <laughs> yes. Or or whatever, right? Like yeah. it's like maneuvers uh, into but, the right spot. But that spot doesn't first. mean there is no way to finagle it, but it's pretty because some just miss by a tiny bit. So it's not always super easy to make sure you sort of a one. Oh my god. Direct hit. But I'm ahead, and I'm on one as well. And I don't. But I don't know if my angle one is the right angle. It's not. But your angle one is the right angle because you're higher than me. If we're on the same level, then ones would be the same. Yeah. Uh, I think I need to move that way a bit. The ang. Think of the angle as a horizontal speed. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my god, okay. I need to go. No, I don't. That was. Is that right? Oh god. I think I messed up. Nope. Oof. I'm moving. I'm moving. 37 months, ground trooper. Oh my god. That's amazing. Um, I don't know if you're two. Me neither. <laughs> That's gonna be right, but. I have the high ground, Neo Media says. Oh, oh. I'm going to try my two. Don't know. I think it might be too I, I high still. I think you're still. closer. Eh, eh.
Oh, still way too high. Can you ram the other player? That's a good question. Can you go right on top of the other player, or is there like an invisible line? We'll have to test that out. It's your turn. Oh. Uh, that's a good question to see. We will try that after. After destruction. We'll play around with moving. But it's a very good use of the two uh, player characters. Because you'll never get flicker. Oh my god, it's so high. Because all the information is vertical. Hmm. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. I might recommend some gentle color gradient Ooh. and cycling to better suggest water. Mm, water's pretty good. Ooh, is this going to work? Oh my god. Okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What? That's not what I wanted. I want you down one. <laughs> Stop moving. <laughs> We're going to the top. We're going right to the top. Or like bands of color of water. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I'll give it a try. We'll see. No bites left. Now it's way too shallow. I think I might want to try for that too. Oh, first try. It's almost random when you're pressing the button to try and get to the angle. Spot. I think so. Oh, God. Damn it. Yeah, you really have to watch what the other player's doing when they're moving. The range is set is random. Oh, okay. Damn it. Ooh, ooh. A one. <sighs> Hi, kitties. Can you get cuddles? Don't play with that. Don't play with that. Uh, I'm going to try it anyway. I can't remember where. Oh, there we go. One more, I think, for you. I'm just gonna fire at you and see. Don't what chew happens. that cable. You can rub it. Ooh, no, ooh, ooh. I'm dead now. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Boom! Zero to anchor. <laughs> Is that the score? One anchor. Uh, well. Or is that over? Is that I play think that's one? Just, just over. Yeah, like I think you play. Press button. You. Or hold the button. Ah. <laughs> Press the button again. So now it's ram. Ram. Ramming speed. Full speed ahead. They're coming right at us. Ah. One more pixel and we're gonna crash. Oh no, you just you just go on top of each other. That's that's good because you can move and maneuver anywhere. Okay, let's go. You go down, I'll go up. Perfect. No! <laughs> no! Don't do that. <gasps> what? Oh, it is happening! What happened there? Oh, it's, I, I'm afraid what you're just gonna get shot forever. I think what it is is that you getting hit isn't part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That's funny. Like it's you've been hit several times and nothing's <laughs> happening. So it's we found a bug. Bug. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we were useful. <laughs> Abandoned ship. Yes. Okay, let's reset. I want to go to the top of the screen. Oh, you can't reset. It's stuck in a loop. Hold. Uh, Hold it down. No. No. You can't unplug it. It's still, it's still, <laughs> still shooting. <laughs>
You found the bug. The bug. Uh, you think it's just one bug. I had something like that happen once where it was unplugged and it was still working. So like I had was I was what? testing I was testing those tubes so I was sending the, a cage down deep into the water and I had like the electronics tubes to see how far they could go down before they imploded. Yeah. And I was using uh, uh, Ethernet over power, uh, like okay. a network over power, um, yeah. but without the power part. That's what we use to, to connect to the RV. Oh, okay. So that you can have just two plug. twisted a twisted pair, yeah. and you would pull off the power portion and you just use the transmission part. And um, I, so I had the connector attached to the ROV, and yeah. then I took it. It was, and then I, I just forgot. I'd taken it off, and I just forgot, and it was just sort of sitting there near it. Yeah. And I turned it on, and I had a video, full HD video feed from what? it. Oh my and, god. And it wasn't connected. Oh my god. But it was close. And it's Close because enough. It, it's because it it's it's RF. Uh, <laughs> so like it can transmit this far because it's ether. It's not, it's not really power. Se- it's not really sending power. It's just sending data. Information. Right. It's just yeah. and it's RF. Yeah, it was really funny. And w- I was like, "What is happening?" And then I was trying <laughs> the thing, and I was like, "Oh, that's crazy." And okay, so, load it so up again. what you can do? No, nope. no. Nope. What you can do is you can take load it up. Just, you can take the wire and just wrap it around it. <laughs> yes, you don't have and to. And so you don't have, you could actually just put two coils together and uh, have the transmission that way. And then you don't have to have a weakness in your ROV. Of course, the true. weakness is that it's not designed to do that. So maybe the transmission will be buggy. I didn't, we didn't really try it too much. Nope. Armada. Right? Yeah. Um, okay. Now go up. You go up. I go down. There's a problem with the collision being checked too near for both ships. Oh, look at this. Hold down the button. Uh huh. You can just press up. Or down. Or down. Yeah, no, it doesn't work for me. I'm in the sky. Watch me fly. Oh, oh. Another bug. What happened? I went into the sky and then I went too far and it reset. Yeah, it happens to me too. Yeah. You get down below, but it allows you to move down. But oh, let's well, see here. What happens? So you get a free move. So watch. Okay. I pick that, I go down. Okay. Yeah. So next time I pick it, yeah. it moves me up. So if I pick that, I can go forward. I also go up and on an angle. Mm. You move up one. It's, it's oh. against your will. You can only stay at the bottom. See, it's the shore, right? And if you want to move, you have to go into <laughs> deeper water. You yeah. can be in port, but... <laughs> I'm almost off the screen. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, where? Oh, you just do whatever. I can't. Just do whatever. Oh, I see. Doesn't matter. I want to just try and see. Oh, I'm gone. I'm hidden. I'm hidden. And... Okay, well, um, we're going to just have to shoot you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we missed. <laughs> I'm off the screen. Yeah, you need to do some range checking of where the guy is so he can't go off the screen too low or too high. Okay. I'm I'm guessing that might happen on the left and right sides of the screen as well. Oh, you just I dare you to come back on the screen. Oh, no, I wrapped around. Uh-oh. My my range is wrong now. Uh, you go left, and I'll go right. Because the value, he's not checking values, so it just wraps around to the lowest number. No, 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 no. Oh, kitten. No. He wants to play battleships too. He does. Okay. You go to the left, I'll go to the right. Oh, to the right? Yeah, I'll go to the right. <laughs> <laughs> You're Trixie. <laughs> oh, so close. They broke it. Shame on them. Shame. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no, you're going the wrong way. Oh, you got to keep changing your angle. Oh, I, I hit the side and I reset. No, I keep hitting. So that might work. Yeah. The tone held. Oh, cool. 
You have to keep your ship, uh, ships on the pegboard when playing Battleship, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I like it. You don't have to. That's you the problem to. with yeah. Battleship. <laughs> I never true. had that problem, but... Uh, you but keep missing. I've heard of people <laughs> having that problem with the, yeah, with the cheating. Yeah, uh, it's funny. It's funny. It never occurred to me to cheat in Battleship. No, no, because unless you have like other people watching the game, there's there's no way. Coffee left. Um. Well, until you reveal it and you go, oh, look at all the things, the places I've shot you at. Uh, great game. I really yeah, like yeah. it. Yeah, it's cool. Um, what would you think if the shot did like an arc instead of like going off the screen and then coming at an angle i think it'd be more visually interesting but then it would be it'd be easier it would so what we're seeing here are more like modern destroyers yes with like cruise missiles um yeah so if these are battleships and this was, might just be a translation difference if these are battleships then an arc would make sense but if they're destroyers right. then what we're seeing right now makes perfect sense because the rockets just fire up and then yeah. come down so that's fine and yeah. and it played just fine like yeah you, and you left... it, honestly it the having it come onto the screen straight is possibly easier to comprehend what you're doing it is yeah it's actually easier to reconfigure your fire power with that um, with the angle, yeah. Uh, very, very good strategy game. Uh, yep. I, I really like it. Um, be able to change the angle, move, and fire. It's very simple. It's not mm -hmm. complex. Um, it gives all the information at the bottom. Yep. Uh, nice displays of the ships. Shows you how many you have left. You do have to memorize Sorry, if, whether you've been hit once or twice. Does the range increase how quickly you move, too? I kind of I inferred you said, that. I thought you said that. I kind of inferred that at, at the beginning, and I thought I said that, but I, I don't think it does. Uh, radars. Um, yeah. After setting the desired range, the next fire order and navigation order will consider that value. Oh, so if you go four. And now you're on four, so move. Yeah. So I'll move left. Oh. I think it does. Yeah, I think so. so. I'm gonna it's do... just that you don't move so much move, to begin move with. So move one now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. You do it again. Do it again. Okay. And four again. Okay. Uh... It's hard to say. I think I'm moving quite, I think you're quite moving, a lot. I think you're moving more, but I oh, don't no know video, if you're sorry. moving... We'll do it I think again. You're, I think you're moving more, but I don't think it. I don't think it's like four times as much. No. I don't think one is one and four is four. four. I think yeah. it's more like. Do it again so they can see it. So Darcy set to one. He's going to go oh, now. Here, I'm going to go this way, and see if you catch me. Oh yes, that's a good test. I think it's more like there's a minimum. Of movement and then it adds one. I think one. you are catching me. Yeah, I am. Yeah. yeah. So I'm moving four and yeah. Darcy's moving one. Yeah. So I've caught up to him. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he did confirm that that was the case. He just, I wanted to see how much it and was. Yeah, yeah. We're demonstrating it. <laughs> very, very cool. I, I do like it a lot. There's a lot of good going on in this game, for sure. Um, so great job. Great job on the game. So we're going to go to uh, the third uh, game. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I have to change things around. Okay, which is... Uh, Tirotenga. You can load up the title screen. Amongst the spiky Mandacurus and the Kanda... Oh my goodness, these words. Are suspicious. Nonata, where are the all, all the cabra cabras? All gone? All dead? Someone in the gang spilled the beans. And the police macacos are already arriving. Oh, oh, this is um, a two-player shooting game. Um, but you can just... But it has a little twist. It's very interesting how it... Uh, the mechanics of the firing. See if you can figure it out. You have to... Cock your gun. Yeah, 
you got it. <laughs> so you have to rack your gun and then fire. And dead. I think you can press hold the button to reset. Or maybe I need to. Oh, I have to revive. Ah, cool. Okay. Um, in the camp, only two can caseros remained. Old time adversaries. Each of whom. It's an auto trigger. <laughs> it's like a phantom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, each of whom believed the other one was the traitor and betrayal that is betrayal is resolved in the point of the bullet the doubt between the last two of the gang will be solved with Papa Amarello rifles singing night and day until just one remains well, I love the poetic language of Portuguese or Spanish <laughs> especially when translated into English uh, Tiro Tango is an exciting duel of rifles in the Katinga hinterland in which the winner will be the last man standing the one who has the best aim and the smarter in reloading is Winchester 44 the players will face each other over cactus and stones trying to put a fist full of bullets five bullets in five rounds in the enemy Bucho the rifle ammunition is plenty but a game of death is more than meets the eyes no nada I can move around but how to use the damn rifle I pull the trigger but the gun does nothing See section three using the controller for details. Um, the Kansen, uh, the Kanga Cheros can move up, down, go left, right, and with some difficulty when passing over the Mandakura. Oh, apparently, if you shoot someone through the neck, it doesn't count. Ah, uh, it goes I right through their neck. But there's no hole, so I don't know why. Oh, it's because of the speed of the bullet. Mm hmm. Um, oh, I see. It's not. It's it's um, hardware collision, so it happens to be the bullet happens to show up just before and just after. Gotcha. Uh, just I would sorry, Arena Foot. Uh, Darcy has five zero. <laughs> that was uh, if you're tracking that. He is. Don't track that. Track that, Arena Foot. This is official. Darcy had played against no one. No, it was against James. Look at where the controller is. It's over on his side of the room. The carpet is... Ah, there we go. It's official. Thank you. Thank <laughs> the, you. The carpet is playing against Darcy, <laughs> and the carpet did poorly. <laughs> um, to shoot, press the button while pushing the joystick up. Um, game reset, which resets the game. Um... Oh, change the bullet gunpowder quality. A is for alta, high, and B is for low for each cancer. The powder quality defines the bullet speed. So we're on B for both, which is a low bullet speed. We'll keep on low for now. We'll go to high after. What was that? A big old stretchy reach for me, huh? Oh, we can do sunset. I'm not in control of the ding, ding, ding. So let's switch to a different look. Well, that didn't look any different. Doesn't look any different. I think uh, it Press depends button. on where you are. You can shoot through the uh, cactuses too. Press button. Okay. Doesn't look any different. Interesting. Okay. Oh, now, oh it does. now it does. What the hell? I guess my black and white didn't take. The other one's better. <laughs> oh, oh, reset's not working right now. Okay. The other one's more visible. Uh, scoring. To last, you must hurt more than be hurted. <laughs> <laughs> Each hit Cancinchero makes at the other one's body will be accounted, erasing a white bar at the vic victim's uh, campsite. Okay, so that's her health at the bottom. At the fifth hit, the Cancinchero will be considered dead with a cross above it. Some prayers can be heard if the dead Cancinchero's player presses the button that, uh, for some time. So you, you pray, Still he comes back to life. Uh, if Cancinchero, oh, look at that cat trot in. You can see it on the, <laughs> see it on the kitten. Meow, yeah. meow. Yeah, the rules, the rules. He says, I know the rules. Follow the, the rules. Gamer. I know the rules, and so do I. Right, kitten? We go. Never uh, gonna give you up. No, no, no. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's too tempting. Just press the bell. Did he hit the press the bell? No, he did not. Hey, you're gonna hit this bell thing. You remember this bell? You remember how the bell works? He look. did it a couple days ago. He knows. Okay, yep. I'll accept that stupid. Oh, one. that was a weak hit. That was a weak, that was weak ass bell action. <laughs> That's I won't be doing that again. No, nope. you I have to a give snack. a real hit. Oh, there. Oh, That's a nice kitty. strong bell. Okay. Uh, 
If it gets hit five times, the duel ends and the victory points will be splashed at the bottom of the game over screen. Don't let it happen again, Cabra. Pick up your rifle and do better next time. Penalty. Each time a bullet finds its way to Kengote, you lose a mark. Get even before it's too late. Hmm. Not sure what that means. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, helpful hints. The ban the banditry life of a certainejo by 1938 in Brazil's northeast region was not easy. The can the Kangakko was the drought polygon's ground piracy with nomadic bands scattered at the hinterlands fighting for power, money, food, and revenge. The following tips can help you survive another duel. <laughs> yeah. Load aim and shoot. Seems easy, but some rhythm's effort is needed to better the use of the carbine. The other cabra will do the same. Number two, check out the Mandakura cover by the Camp Low Lines. But do not stay down sniping for too long. You cannot change direction with your eye down at the iron sight of the Papo Amarello. And your opponent can get you that fast. Bang! Good kitty. Atari, say, say thanks to Alnafur. Alnafur gave you treats. Say thank you. He's like, more. <laughs> He's like, Cam? Cam? <laughs> <laughs> if the duel is too easy for one of the Kanchinsero, what about a gunpowder change and some uh, handicap contact? Wandering around without objective is not evasion. Think before acting. Be caught without a bullet in the chamber is the best way to kick the bucket. <laughs> Be honorable with your adversary and do not apparee because lack of respect is synonymous with an open belly and tripe on the floor. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. Hey, what is happening? We have to reset. You killed me once. What? Unfair. Okay. Let's do this. Whoa. Oh. Run. Ah. Once you're, like, committed, you can't turn around. <laughs> Oh, you got me. Oh, boy. Oh, you got me! But only once. Oh. Speed of the bullet. Went right through you. Oh, went right through you again! Went it through again! <laughs> Finally. Well, you can shoot the cactus a bit. Sometimes you, if the cactus stops the bullet, and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, I guess it, if it matters if it, it actually hits it with the right timing. Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> I knew you were going to get me there. Ah! Aha, uh -huh, but it, you got the benefit of shooting through several cactuses, too, so don't complain too much. I guess. <laughs> Love the little dance they do when they get hit. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh. Yeah! oh, no, the power went out. We can't play anymore. Gotta go home. See ya. <laughs> I love that. James is the red one. <laughs> Red wins. <laughs> that is a bit of an issue. But I guess they're on the same team. That would benefit of changing the color. I am on the right right now. Oh! In the back! You coward! Nobody likes you. It's your fault for turning around. When you're not here, they all tell they all tell me <laughs> that they hate you. And that. <laughs> Nobody likes you. <laughs> oh, which one am I? Oh my god! Kitties. Ah. Oh, what? That's called 
Superior cheating. marksmanship. It's called a cheaty cheater. What? It's, it's beneath you to, to luck call of the me draw. a cheater when I'm not. Oh, oh there what was we that? Go. That was called cheating. That was called marksmanship. Apparently, when you shoot someone, it's called <laughs> cheating. Oh, that was cheating. What? Oh, it went right through you. Bullets are too fast. Yes. No. Revive. Say a prayer. No. <laughs> Just going to lie in the ground? Um, <laughs> Darcy leaves. <laughs> Reminds me of the Battle Pardon of Archon. Yes, it is almost exactly that feel. That's why I say no, somebody needs to make Archon for the 2600. <laughs> Look, the, this is Archon. Mm -hmm. Like, literally. Instead of the two... Um, life bars at the bottom yeah, of our Yeah, all you need to do is add the, the battle chess map. At the... Yeah, that's the hard part, actually. <laughs> if we're on the 2600, it's Flicker City, right? Because there's there's different colors. There's like three different... Um, Just treat all squ the players as the background until your highlight goes over, and then it becomes the player, and it takes that shape. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that'd be a bit confusing, but that would solve it. I'd rather have lots of Flicker... It'd be fine. Um, yeah, I am really hoping for somebody to make Archon on 2600. 7800 would be a lot easier. Thank you, Arinafut. 7800, yes. That would be, I'm sure, way, 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 way easier to do. Okay, revive. One more round. Revive. Say a prayer. More prayers. More prayers. A little bit more prayers. <laughs> I'm on the right. If you can keep track after a while. Uh, it feels exactly like Archon, like bumping into the, the little things. It's, it's exactly the same. Yes. Oh. But in this, we have both the same kind of uh, weapon. Uh, fast projectile. It'd be like the... Uh, like a unicorn, I guess. I can't remember any of the other names of the... Archon characters. Come on. Come now. Oh, yeah. 1-1. One, one. Okay. Tiebreaker. Revive. Revive. Use the spell revive. <laughs> Wizard cast revive. Double hit. Ah! Pass through. Come on. Make it through my wall of bullets. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> yes. <laughs> One could do redo Archon for the 2600. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Red always wins. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it would be a good idea to change the color of the dudes. Just some different shades. I know they're both on the same team. Like, they're both started part of the same gang in, in the lore. But they could be wearing different jackets. It's like, you know. Um, or headband or something. <laughs> different hats. I don't know. Different shoes. Um, really cool mechanic. Like yeah, the yeah. way you have to shoot adds a total different dimension to it yep. because it's not just pressing the button yep. and you can't move once you've started like holding the button down and cocking your gun. Mm -hmm. You can't move around with a bullet in the yeah, chamber. Yeah. It's really, really, really cool. After seeing the hail of bullets, might a reload mechanic make things a little bit more interesting? It has a reload it, mechanic. It That's does. the thing it has. Like, I was going like this. To... You you have to um, Nike. you have to reload and you can't move while you're doing that. So doing the blasting means he can't move out of the way. If I could somehow take advantage of his and Darcy was trying, like he yeah. was he was actually succeeding going around uh -huh. while I was doing that, and he did get me one time because I was just firing bullets, and it was uh, Archon was so good. It's a shame he has uh, let that one languish into obscurity. Yeah, they could make like a a three D three-quarter view top-down Archon version or 
first person perspective would be terrible but like um a really nice enhanced version with uh uh really detailed graphics for archon that would be amazing they should do that yeah free idea ea <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't you don't even have to sell it for much like you know 10 bucks make it a phone game or like a simple game you can play on the computer this is boulder dash engine will work well for the board yes yes like andrew davy um engine that he makes where it's done with um stripes mm -hmm. because there's multiple colors that you have to use you'd have to use playfield for the board and you can't change that quickly going across the screen with playfield and the 2600 mm -hmm. Uh, it's almost impossible to do like more than two colors. You can maybe squeeze in more, but then you can't do anything else. So what he does is <clears> does <throat> a comb effect. Um, let me just go back to full screen here. He does a comb effect um, for the play field because you can change color every line. So one line could be the dark color. The next one could be the medium color. And the next one could be the white color. And you just don't draw the top two and you just draw the third line. And so that square would just all be white. Actually, it does two, you can do two. So it'd be a combination. It's either nothing or one or the other or both of them together for the comb effect. And then you can yeah, do yeah. the Archon board that way. Um, and for the rest of them, you have to use um, player characters. So when you first set up, there'd be two two on one side and two on the other. So it'd be a 30 hertz flicker on one side and 30 hertz flicker on the other. But it's a possibility of having, I think it's four plus a middle. I think it's nine across. So you could have a flicker of nine. So it could be fairly bad. But you're not going to have that super often, often. Yes, you just need three colors for the board. Yeah. But since Andrew did Archon for NES, I'm not sure he'd want to do it again. <laughs> yeah, that may be true. Um, I'd be happy to have a collection of everything pre-1986. Archon, Mule, Pinball Construction Set. Yeah, I don't think you do Pinball Construction Set on the 2600, but 7800, yeah. Um, nice trio of games. Nice people sprites. Yes, super fun game. Recommend you download uh, this one. What is it called? Difficult names. Tiro Tango. That one's not too bad to say. Um, super fun mechanics. It is a two-player only game. There's no um, computer. I think they're all 4K, so they're really tightly compact with a nice title screen. Highly recommended, and thank you so much for making them. Um, they're super fun games. Um, yeah, yeah. I didn't know what I would think of going into them, but uh, thank you, Guilherme. Guilherme? Hopefully I'm saying that. Xavier. Um, good stuff. Yeah. So you can stuff. go to uh, his website at uh, donsoft.com.br and download them all from there. So the last game we're going to be playing today is Kitten Catch. <clears throat> uh, and this is a new game as well. It's a work in progress by Seth Marinello on Super Seth on the uh, <laughs> cute title screen. Kitten Catch starring. Oh, I missed the first one. Silver. Miss Maud. Those, those are very effective uh, pictures of the mom and the kitten. Yeah. Bongo. Look appropriate. By Seth Marinello. Yeah, they're really good. Big eyes on the mom. Yeah. <laughs> Cause. Silver. And great graphics for the ball of yarn. Tanya has actually so um, knitted with yarn like that, where it changes color yeah, yeah. all through the ball, and it makes for really cool effects for what you make things with. Especially if you time it right, and you can kind of line up the colors almost, or um, change them. Okay, I believe this is a single player game, and I think you can probably just jump into it and figure it out. You gotta collect all the cats and put them in the bin. Yeah, very nice title screen. Do it! Do it! Get that kitten! You have to hold down the button and put them in the bin. There you go. Now you got two kittens to get, and a time limit. Hey, there's a kitten! Get in the bin! Atari, come here! Come here! Get in the bin! Come on! Goodness. Come on! Come on! Up! No! Oh! Come on! Gray cat! Come on! Get up here! Oh, obstinate. 
Um, so he posted this on uh, November 20th. This, this is a build uh, from the 23rd. Um, so there's been one update. Uh, hello everyone, I'd like to share a game I've been working on to learn the basics of the Atari 2600 over the last six months or so. Kitten catch! Ah! Kittens on the loose! The now young, they're on the loose. Uh, the young kittens have all escaped their box, and you must catch them before the, they cause a mess. I think the I think the answer, sorry, uh, is in the title. It's kitten catch with a K. Yes. And you need a good catch on your box to keep them from getting out. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's a latch. That is catch. Catch, sure. I've heard catch. Yeah, I think so. Um... Yeah, that would be the solution, but the kittens keep getting out. I know. What we need is a better mom. <laughs> She's doing her best. She's doing her best. She's got four kittens. What can yeah. you expect? <laughs> I don't know what to expect. All I know is my hand's getting sore from putting these cats back in their box. <laughs> um, young kittens have all escaped their box. You must catch them before they cause a mess. Each round, they will scurry around the yard, trying to avoid capture. In later stages... No! No! Come on back here! Oh. oh. Nine. Oh. Oh, it went away too quick. Um, so we don't know what the score was. And we later... know that the real trouble was Miss Mod. Miss Mod was just a little too slippery for Mom. Yeah. So developer, pause it at the end. Remember we're talking about the button resetting. Um, pause it at the end with the score, and ignore controller input, so you can see the score sit at the end for a bit. Um, in later stages, one of them will release a ball of yarn on the title screen that will bounce around and tangle you up if it hits you. Uh... Um, so you can read how it works, and I will try my hand at catching kittens. How it works. Move around using the joystick. Press fire to grab a kitten when you catch up. Carry each kitten to the box to drop them off. You must deposit each loose kitten back in the box before the timer runs out in order to clear the stage. Each round will be a bit harder than the last. See how far you can go. Scoring. For each kitten you return to the box, you earn 15 points. At the end of each round, you earn additional points for the time remaining. Getting hit by the ball of yarn doesn't cost you time, doesn't just cost you time, but also cost you a point. What? Oh. After surviving nine rounds of kitten catch, a bonus ten points will be applied for each kitten you rescue. Oh, bonus points for kittens. Oh, they're moving fast. Once now. you do nine rounds. Built-in Batari Basic using the multi-sprite kernel along with the title screen kernel from Revang. Revenge. 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 Like revenge and also rev your engine. Yep. That's quite a clever name. Uh, I used the background builder from Alien Bill for the title screen art. When I got started on this project, I didn't understand how the 2600 worked at all, and for a moment was worried there was no way to get the number of characters on the screen I needed for all the kittens. Oh, I found... He got clever. Miss, I found Miss It by uh, Acoustic Guitar, which really made me believe that the multi-sprite kernel could actually pull off what I was hoping to do. I used their movement logic to kickstart things, and the game rolled from there. Everyone should go check out Miss It. Anyway, this uh, should go check out Miss It. Anyway, this is very much a first attempt at making something for 2600. It was a lot of fun. You can find the source <sighs> in the bin below. 1,320. <laughs> and the gray on gray. I would also suggest <laughs> not having the score. Because there's something over there. Too. In gray. I don't know what it is. On gray. It's like an. Oh, it's level. Level eight. Uh, it was probably not gray at the beginning and just at the end. Yeah. yeah. It's not a, re a lot of release games that use a multi sprite kernel. Yeah, this is a really good example of it. It's got um, flicker for when the ki kittens are on the same line, um, and it's got four kittens, which is pretty pretty good. So I made it to level eight and thirteen twenty. The ball of yarns is insane. It is. Rev engines, as in reverse engineer. See, it's got multiple levels. <laughs> That's a third thing you can make out of it. Reverse engineer, that makes a lot more sense. Or rev your engine. Or revenge. So good. What a great name. Same type of game as Miss It. Yep. It also has a nice ramp up in, diff in its difficult. It does. It, I mean, the game is fairly short, but it, uh, it does ramp up nicely. It's okay, not too this corner over here. <laughs> yeah, see this one here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Taking a tour of the, oh, the yard. Here. No, in the box! In the Naughty box. Naughty kitty! Bad kitty! It's a bad kitty. Oh, I just had one little cat nap, and you're out again! <laughs> Feel free to share and play no! the game. No! 
Just don't sell it. Uh, I'll be getting a few physical copies made ah! to, to give away. Maybe in a score challenge sometime. I'll keep everyone posted. So my score is 1320. So I'll submit that for uh, the high score right now <laughs> to get a physical copy. Doll also has a nice ramp up in difficulty. Yeah. The ball of yarn is rolling around like crazy. Like on the level eight. Oh, the level's not showing until you are done. So it's not showing now. That's too bad because it does have room for it. Oh, now it's showing. What is that? There's like a, it's kind of like an eight. Does it say anything about it in here? It doesn't. And it's still an eight. Or a B or a, it's a thing. It's a thing there. Maybe it's B for Batari Basic. Now it's not changing. Hmm. I also like the kitten deposit sound to be different for each successive drop off. Just climb the scale or go through a chord progression. That's a good idea. So, ding, ding, ding. So it's like, oh, okay, I'm progressing, bringing the kittens back. Oh, almost out of time. So close. 12, getting close to my score. Oh, you got hit by the yarn. No chance now. Oh, oh maybe. Oh, 1233. That little, yeah, it's like a B. So, started already. Do one more, see if I can best my score. I don't know if I can. Tactic is to like, kind of, ah. Uh, no, I'm definitely not gonna do well. Not gonna do well, because I don't think I got hit maybe once getting hit time. once uh it affects your score yeah but it doesn't it's like you don't save point you don't save time for the next round no so, so it's fine yeah so you're not just completing it lets you carry on at least which is very nice you can start like oh, almost you got, you got real good uh, pacing on that one that one was very good oh i think i got hit by the they came one. exactly just as you needed them to they came to you kittens cooperate I guess you could. Ah, I guess no. you could memorize. No. I guess you could memorize their order and and, uh, and arrange to have them come to you. Uh, oh God. God's got nothing to do with it. Apparently, it's definitely not helping me out. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Doing very bad with the yarn this time. Whoa, that was it. Oh, no. No, I gotta do it quick. Come here, yellow cap. Yeah, it, I think it says you lose a point. So it's not a huge penalty. It's mostly a the point. time. Yeah, the time is the factor, especially in these upper levels. Yeah, no, you make it. This game. Oh, so close. Oh, very close. But you 15, did, 27. You hit 13 something, didn't you? First yep. 13, 80. Yep, so I did better. Even though I got hit by the yarn, like, so many more times but you, but as long as you make it through yeah but you get bonus you must not get a ton of bonus for the time yeah. left over because i got hit way more yeah but i made it further levels I'm not sure what that b8 thing is in the corner that shows up after x levels um well Might be. once you get to level nine you get a bonus 10 point bonus for each that's kitten and bonus that's, that's and what that is well, it could be level it could be that you're yeah it could eight be bonus or, level. or eight yeah. that you were past eight i don't know yeah um fun game simple game love the premise great title screen um hi atari <laughs> you know what he's doing he's, he's looking at the treats he's like he's waiting <laughs> patiently off camera it's so funny <laughs> um yeah i would download it um he's not dumb he's just single-minded yeah he is focused he's just meditating over by the door do 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 do, 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 do. His mouth is slightly agape, like just, just a bit, like he's forgotten where his mouth is because <laughs> he's so concentrated on the treats. <laughs> Kid, oh, you made a move. You, you going? The, <laughs> are you bringing it down? He was like scratching himself. You just had treats, you little monster. Oh, he's so bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really fun and cute game. 
Yep. Uh, it is very a very quick game, so if you want like a simple, quick game to play, that's the one to play. Um. So that's the end of the show. But let's see what's coming up. Um, we may do an After Dark tonight with Tanya later, later. Um, we'll see if there's plans or not. Um, next show, I'm going to be playing some 7800 games. That's on Tuesday. We're going to be playing VHZC's new game, Canon in D, D for Defense. And some other ones that I haven't figured out yet, but we'll see. Then the show after that, which is the next Friday... It's going to be our Holiday Homebrew Special. Uh, it'll be an early show at noon because Tanya has the day off. So we'll be doing that. Playing, playing Christmas Salvo, Junior Pac-Man Snow Day, and probably some 8-bit um, snow holiday themed games. I'll be looking for those. Nice. Great game. Nice cats. Nice catches. Thank you, G-U-I-X. Um, and then after that... Um, I'm hoping that we can schedule ZPH the game on either the 28th or 31st. I'm not sure on your schedule. Like, it would be a Saturday. Um, but I'll figure that out. That would be like, ooh. Oh, no, that would have to take us into the new year. Uh, we'll do it in the new year then. Because there's lots of time there. So we'll figure that out. Because the Saturday doesn't really... Saturday falls on the 25th, which is not going to happen. <laughs> um, and then the next Saturday is going to be the 1st. So that's in the new year anyway. So we'll figure it out some other time. Um, but I've scheduled more or less uh, the Atari Homebrew Awards playthrough days. It'll be starting on January 21st, which we'll be revealing all the nominees on that day. And then we'll be playing through the Atari 2600 oh, completed games. <laughs> Jumpy cat. Um, and then the next day we'll be doing the work in progress 2600 games. Then on part three, the 7800 games uh, completed. Part four, 7800 work in progress games. Then part five, we'll be playing the 8-bit 5200 games and Lynx games and doing the packaging. And that would take you, us right to the end of voting. Because the voting also opens up on the 21st, the first day. Uh, oh, you missed treat time. I don't think there's time for treat. Treat time was done very late into the show. So mm -hmm. I don't think it'll happen again. Have to wait till next No week. one is more sad about that than that thing. This, this little gray cat down here. <laughs> And then I on think the, his his eyes are colored by the treats because they're so green. They're very green, very cute. And then on February twelfth, put it on your calendars. It's a Saturday. Fourth annual Atari Homebrew Awards. Darcy's going to be there. I hope. I put assume it on so. your calendar. <laughs> I assume so. It's a Saturday. I just, yeah, yeah I, at I, noon. Yeah. Yep. So put it on your calendar. And it's when? What month? Uh, February twelfth. I'm sure I'll be <laughs> Okay. Good. Uh, I'll wear my best shirt. Your your least dirty shirt. And and like whatever. Like maybe it's mostly, boxer shorts or something. Yeah, <laughs> you can't see above the waist. Because it's so. mostly above the waist, so you can wear whatever. I'll, I'll get a tuxedo shirt or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Swimming trunks. You can wear whatever you want snorkel. down there it's a flippers, snorkel. flippers flippers yeah. yep flippers no snorkel but i can wear flippers <laughs> we might be able to hear your flippers as you walk in <laughs> uh great show today thank you dan uh goix well it's it's mostly on you made it yeah. a great show with your great games definitely everybody download those he's going to be putting out the ninjoso soonish after the show um do you know when is it like going to be nowish or tomorrow but soon 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 so thanks for hanging in there, Dan, ABC, GUIX, Steps, Arena Foot, Charles Reese, Carl G, Nostalgic, Mike Latow, uh, Space Factory Co., who shouted, Dawn Soft! Obviously a fan. <laughs> um, who else? Thrust 26. Glad we could do an early show for you. All the Europeans can watch today. Neo Media. Who else? 
else? Who else? Anybody else? That is not somebody I said. Ground Trooper? Uh, Paul Matbot? <laughs> Alnifer at Ivory Tower Collections. Uh, and I think I got everyone. Oh, Ninjoso is up. Check it out. New site is ready. Download it now. Try out your ninja skills. See if you can make it all the way to change the colors of the ninjas outfits. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a try. Um, oh, mystery time. Cooking dinner. Okay, so uh, we'll be back on Tuesday. Have a good weekend, Neo Media. And uh, oh, we might see us tonight on um, After Dark. So watch your alerts. Make sure you follow us if you haven't already followed us. Um, so you'll be alerted on your Twitch. So thanks for tuning in. And we will see you later. Bye-bye. Ciao.